General of Police Jafet Kome, a surprise move that comes after days of pressure to the president for the president to dismiss him over allegations of excessive force and brutality by police to youthful protesters. Douglas Kanja now takes over as acting inspector general and Sheila Chilengat has the details. I'll subject myself to the constitution. He was sworn into office on the 11th of November 2022 and today marked the end of his one year, eight months and 15 days at the helm of the National Police Service. I, Jafet Kome Nchebere. The past one month, however, has not been a smooth ride for him, as Kenyans put him up to task to take responsibility for the alleged excessive force and brutality by police during the anti-government protests. It is also his loud silence on the allegations of excessive force against peaceful protesters that seemingly piled more pressure for his dismissal. More people are, are, are getting abducted. Na hiyo inafanya watu wanaanza kuogopa ogopa nini? Sisi wenye tuliachiliwa bado sasa tunakuwa na kale ka worry will they come back? Neither did Kome release any statement of the status of the security situation to which at the time human rights organizations put the number of those dead at 39, over 300 injured and about 24 arbitrary arrests. I apprehend all police officers implicated in the murders of the over 200 innocent Kenyans in peaceful protests since last year. The resignation could be seen as a serious indictment on the president who during the presidential roundtable interview weeks ago Ago, lauded the police for a job well done in killing the anti-finance bill protests. As things stand now, Mr. President, are you satisfied with how the police handled this whole matter? I think the police have done the best they could. If there are any excesses, we have mechanisms to make sure that those excesses are dealt with. Kome's resignation comes a day after President William Ruto dismissed almost his entire cabinet, seeking to contain widespread public anger against his government. And so after the president's acceptance of Kome's resignation, his deputy Douglas Kanja takes over as acting inspector general until when the president will nominate another and is approved by parliament. Sheila Chelangat for TV 47.